Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm Bushra Alam and today we'll see how to actively monitor web apps using Checkly. Checkly is the API and end-to-end -end monitoring platform. To make sure your APIs and crucial browser click flows are working as expected. Checkly runs your APIs and end-to-end -end test periodically or you could set a trigger like on every git push. It will alert you of the results and it maintains a dashboard for you to see the API or app status. And it integrates with the open source and developer tools that you use on a daily basis. Checkly has different pricing plans, but the basic plan is free. So for now, we can start with the free plan. Click on start for free and it will ask you to sign up. Do that. I've already signed up. So once you sign up, this is where you'll end up. So here we'll create new browser check. Here you can give it a name, add some tags and here add the script that you would like Checkly to run. So Checkly supports Playwright and Puppeteer. For now, we'll add a script from the examples. We can also run the script to see if it works fine. So one assertion passed and one failed, which is all right. Then you could set some environment variables to avoid hard coding values in the script. You could also set global environment variable here so that when you have multiple scripts, you could pick values from these variables and do not have to hard code them in every script. Then you could select the data centers where you would like to run the scripts at. So let's just select some. All right. Then set how often you would like the script to run. So every 10 minutes is fine. And then it will alert me. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save the check. So our browser check has been added here and it says pending. Let's wait for a while. And yes, it is executed and it failed because remember one of our assertions was failing. We can click on this for more details. So it has only executed at a single location. You could rerun it. So once you have multiple runs over a period of time, you would get a nice chart showing your script status. You can edit the check if you want to. You could deactivate it if you don't want to run it. Or could mute it if you want to keep the checks running, but it will mute the alerts. Then you can edit the script here. You could add or update the environment variables, update the locations and schedules, alert settings. Here, double check on failure is checked. And what that will do is rerun a failed check to make sure that the failure wasn't a false positive. Then you could run test as part of your CI CD pipelines so that the checks are run when fresh code is deployed. And if you do not need the check, you can go ahead and delete it. And I think I haven't mentioned about code snippets. So if you have some code that is used in multiple scripts or checks in terms of Checkly, so you can create code snippets and you can use them in your script. So to create a code snippet, go to this icon, code snippet, and we'll create a code snippet. Add your code here. Let's also rename this. And we'll save the snippet. Now to use it in your checks, let's go to our check.
and we'll edit our script. So this is what our check does. So we can replace it with the code snippet. This is the syntax of using the code snippet. Now let's run this. So it's able to access the code snippet. So you see, Checkly very elegantly helps you monitor your APIs and crucial browser click flows.